Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here. I feel like we've been meeting here together long enough now that we can consider each other friends. And as our friends, surely you know how much we love global positioning. Uh, this technology is moving forward so quickly, and we're having a great time keeping up with it. Every new development, every new iteration. Well, I'm sure you're enjoying this journey with us. I mean, come on, that's what friends do, right? And so you must be just as excited as we are for this newest iteration. And here it is. It is now possible to easily access the L5 band for mind-blowing accuracy in your positioning projects. I mean, we're talking in some cases six millimeters of accuracy. And you can access this now with the new SparkFun Tri-Band GNSS RTK Breakout Mosaic X5. At the heart of the Tri-Band GNSS RTK Breakout is Septentrio's most compact high-precision GNSS receiver, the Mosaic X5. The Mosaic X5 module is an ultra-low power, multi-band, multi-constellation GNSS receiver capable of delivering centimeter level precision at high update rates. The receiver supports the GPS, GLONASS, Beidou, Galileo, and NavIC constellations, including regional systems like SBAS and QZSS. But let's get more specific, constellation by constellation. Now in GPS, it can read L1CA, L1PY, L2C, L2P, and L5. From GLONASS satellites, L1CA, L2CA, L2P, and L3CDMA. From the Beidou constellation, B1I, B1C, B2A, B2B, B2I, and B3. Galileo, E1, E5A, E5B, e 5 alt -Bach, and E6. From NAVIC, it'll read L5. And from the regional systems, from QZSS, it'll pick up L1CA, L1CB, L2C, L5, and from SBAS, EGNOS, and WA. Now, the board itself also hosts a USB-C connector, a microSD card slot that accepts up to a 32 gigabyte card with FAT32 file system, and a pair of SMA connectors, one for an active multiband GPS antenna and the other for 3.3 volt PPS output. There are also a handful of status LEDs, a red for power, yellow for pulse per second, green for data logging, blue for position, velocity and time solution, and white for RTK mode. There's a log button and a reset button, and a 6-pin JST-GH connector and ESD protective diodes. And just a heads up, the I.O. logic level is 3.3 volts. Let's talk briefly about L5. A GPS L5 is one of the newer signals, and in fact part of the GPS modernization plan. It's broadcast in a radio band designed exclusively for aviation safety services, and is meant to be used in combination with L1CA to improve positional accuracy via ionospheric correction and improve robustness via signal redundancy. It's broadcast at a higher power level than current civilian use GPS signals, has a wider bandwidth and lower frequency, which enhances reception for indoor use. The L5 signature consists of two components, the data component and the pilot component, and these are in phase quadrature with each other. Now that basically means that while the two signals share the same wavelength, they're broadcast at an offset of one quarter of their wavelength from each other, or 90 degrees. And thanks in part to the European Space Agency for some of that info. ESA, space is their middle name. Now, unlike what you're probably used to, uh, this requires no coding on the user's part to get up and running. In fact, it doesn't even require a microcontroller. Uh, this chip has an internal web server that can be accessed via the USB connection from either Windows or Linux on a standard browser. Here, I'll show you. So here's the overview screen, and straight away you can see that it offers a ton of information. A multiple quality indicators, a GNSS satellites, plus a little red indicator where you are on a tiny globe, NTRIP data, Ethernet connection, data streams, logging info, CPU load, at a glance info across the top of the page, including status, position, and receiver info. And there are multiple other pages. Let's, uh, let's take a look at the GNSS page. You can see, once again, your position and satellites that you're seeing, as well as position mode, antenna info, extensive position info, even geodetic info. Now, if you follow the drop-down menu to satellites and signals, you can get a sky plot with the positions of all the satellites, plus carrier to noise info, and more advanced satellite details. There's also communications pages, corrections pages, NMEA pages, logging pages. Now, you can see here that I don't have an SD card mounted. And under the admin dropdown, there are multiple pages allowing you to configure the Mosaic X5 exactly how you need for your specific project or situation. This is extremely cool. 
Septentrio also provides dozens of video tutorials to guide users through the configuration settings of their GNS receivers utilizing the web interface. In addition to the module's web interface, Septentrio provides software packages where users can post-process recorded data, configure the Mosaic X5 module, and analyze the receiver's performance of the GNSS signals for interference and spoofing. And if these interface options weren't enough, Septentrio's GNSS modules are compatible with other third-party software packages. I could go on and on, but there is so much information on this new board that we'd wind up with a video that rivals the length and depth of a Lord of the Rings film. So instead, for more information, I'm just going to send you over to our product page and hookup guide. So position yourself on our website, see what I did there, and pick up the new SparkFun Tri-Band GNSS RTK Breakout Mosaic X5. And as always, stay safe, be kind, and happy hacking! On CA for more for ah, oh. and meant to be can you meant to be can used. What the? I mean, the technology is moving so forward. We have a new board. Here's the outtakes. <laughs> Blowing accuracy in global positioning. So close.